Well, Glenda, the good news is this professor we spoke to from the University of Michigan says it looks like the worst could, could be over. Still, as you'll see in this video, there was an explosion at one of the nuclear plants and radiation remains at dangerous levels. Every minute counts as nuclear engineers from Japan and around the world monitor two reactors at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. Right now, it would appear the threat of a catastrophic meltdown is fading. In the absolute worst case is that radiation levels start going back up. The, uh, they lose the power to the pump seawater into the... Um, so, but I think it sounds like things are a little bit under control from that standpoint. Dr. William Martin, a professor of nuclear engineering at the University of Michigan, says the plant, which was built in the 70s, has shown it is durable and well designed. Given it was an 8.9 on the Richter scale, that was a factor of 100, probably more than it was designed for. So this is incredible that it actually was, was, withstood that. Most experts agree the threat of a Chernobyl-like disaster is almost non-existent at this point, and officials are now flooding the reactors with seawater to cool the uranium. Evidently, this was sort of in the design of the plant, so there are people around that remembered this because this is not something they nobody's ever done before. This is because you do it once, you don't do it twice. This is something you only do once. And the professor says that the seawater method will actually render the plant non-usable after this method is used. So we'll just have to wait and see if it works. There are still several days until it's determined whether the plant has been properly shut down. Reporting live, I'm Tom Wade, Channel 7 Action News.